Hi there, Greg Holmes from the Philippines Recruitment Company with my deep dive into the process of recruiting out of the Philippines. This session is on the actual recruitment process that we go through to secure candidates for Australia. Now, there are three really important parts to recruiting out of the Philippines. Firstly, we need to make sure that the candidates do have the skills. That's not, just not in the CV, it's actually that the candidates have the skills. Secondly, the candidates need to qualify for a Cert 3 or Cert 4 as required for most trades for a skill, skill assessment. And thirdly, and most importantly, the candidates need to show their historical their, or their work history to be able to show that they do have the experience necessary to qualify for the Cert 3 or Cert 4 and to then be able to come into Australia. So it's not just about finding someone with the skills. Now I've had plenty of people that have said this, uh, you know, Jose is a brother of Carlo and, and we know he's got the skills. Nothing to do with it. He needs to be able to qualify again for the Cert 3 or Cert 4 as well as showing certificates of employment. And that is just so important. Otherwise, they will not be able to make it through the process. So what we do is that before we actually start lining candidates up for clients, we will check the history, the working history of the candidates, and not only just check it, but make sure that they can show their history. A great example of that, uh, uh, you know, some of the trades like carpentry, it's very difficult to have the certificates of employment for carpenters because a lot of their work is just done through cash and that's how they survive. So, but when we're talking about uh, metal fabricators and mechanics and things like that, and chefs, it's a lot easier, but that's the first thing that we will do to make sure that the candidates are going to qualify. So we do that, we check English, and only at that point in time do we then check for skills because there's no point going through the first two if, this, if it's no point going to the skills first if they can't qualify. So we then check the skills, and this is all prior to lining candidates up for a client. So the skill assessment e is either done by one of our senior recruiters, Q&A um, for mechanics, but if it's for welders and fabricators, it will be done actually through a weld assessment, a weld test in a skill centre. They're the important things that you just cannot short track in any way, shape or form if you're looking for people to come out to Australia on a uh, medium term 482 visa to be able to come into the country and work for you on an ongoing basis. Greg Holmeson, Philippines Recruitment Company. Stay tuned for my next video.